Hey, y'all, it's the Just Our Imagination uh, playlist, so if you guys could go to my description box, check out everybody, and um, go watch their videos. And Lolly D was the winner. She's the co-host this month. Our, 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 Brenda, my best friend from Rustic and Lace, is the host with me, so check them out, you guys. Hey, y'all, get ready. This is going to be a fast one. So, I got these two canvases from Lisa Floyd. They came from the Dollar Tree. You get two of them for $5. And I'm going to take and remove the staples. I love them. Um, a lot of you guys ask about my little screwdriver. Oh, sorry. I had to give the babies some a treat. And um, I don't know what kind it is. But anyway, I wanted you all to see this frame. How wobbly it is. If you ever get a frame like that, that um, a lot of them from Dollar Tree like that, plus when you take that canvas off, you can loosen it. And I just make sure that I take and put wood glue in those little cracks. And I, I couldn't find my electric stapler. So I just grabbed that paper stapler from behind me. And I stapled my frame back together. But I go ahead and put wood glue in the corners of all of them. Y'all, wait till you see this. You're going to die. Anyway, and I just take wood glue. And, um... I, uh, yeah, I clamped those together, and I let it set for about 15 minutes, and I'm going to sand it down really good. And then these are those little, those free little board thingy, plank thingies, whatever they are, that I get from the Home Depot. And I'm just going to um, situate them and number them here to how I want them to go. And then um, I'm going to lay them out in the numerical order. I just did put my frames on top of it. And I'm going to mark where I need to cut. And I did go out to the miter saw. And I cut them. And then, of course, there you got your order. And when I was um, outside, uh, as I came in, I saw my electric stapler. So, I was like, oh, I need that. But where there was, like, wide ones, I, you know what? I threw about two to three staples in each of those across. I just went staple crazy. But those I'm refurbishing because I had broke something that I made a while back. And those come from the Dollar Tree years ago when they were only a dollar. And then I found that board in the garage. It had a crack in it, so I knew Honey wasn't going to use it. So I put my little brackets down there, and then I marked where I needed to um, drill my pilot holes. And I'm just going to drill little holes there. Um, and I did, okay, wood glue and stapled my planks on. Anyway... And after I get them down there, I'm just going to take a screwdriver because I tried with the drill, and it was impossible for me. I don't know if I'm challenged, but it was challenging. And I'm just going to put those screws in as tight as I can. And one of our challenge items were dowel rods. Now, I got those from the Ugly Truth gals, the long ones, and then the short ones, they came from Miss Wanda Cruz. And I'm going to cut them at 45-degree angle. I'm using the long ones the long way and then the short ones the other way. <laughs> anyway, and I just got lucky and they happen to be the same size round anyway and i'm going to take and wood glue and hot glue them in yeah i run through there you guys this is absolutely beautiful i am i blew myself away anyway um mainly use a, mostly wood glue just a little bit of hot glue to tack it down i still clamp them down and, uh, you know, let them dry a little bit. But anyway, and then right here, I'm taking these D-hooks that I took off another sign that I got from somewhere. And I drilled pilot holes for them. And look, when I screwed that in, oh, uh, you guys, you'll see in a minute. I was so aggravated. But if you take, like, your um, nautical rope or this is that wire jute from the Dollar Tree and put that glue on each side and leave a little place in the middle to cut it, you don't have to worry about that stuff unfraying. But I just put it in those D-hooks and put it really, really tight because I don't want the hanger to show. <clears throat> anyway, and then um, with that wire, I just go ahead and smash it down with my um, pliers there. But look, a staple. I shoved the staple clear through that thing when I drilled that in there, and I was so upset. But anyway, these skewers or flat bamboo sticks came from... Wanda and Miss Rose got me the same ones, and the Ugly Truth guys got the short ones that I'm going to use too. The um, those ones from Wanda are going the long way, and the Ugly Truth gals are going sideways. But the reason I decided to use those and not just keep the skewers is because I threw that staple in there, and I tried everything under the sun. You saw my little frowny face to get it out, and trust me, I could not, and I was so aggravated. I was just like, oh, man, but this turns out because I take those things, and I put them on the inside and the outside of my frames there, 
And then I take Waverly Antique Wax, which that stuff drunk it up. I am serious. Those little, uh, it's just rough cut pieces. They stick in between the piles. But anyway, after I stay in it, it dried, um, we're going to take and we're going to do the um, Amor's glue. And that's what I'm doing right now. I'm putting... And you try to do a smooth, even coat. I did that around the rest of it, too. But I took a scraper on the um, top of that one sign and on the frame. I wanted it to show more brown. I know, I'm crazy. But, and then, okay, see what I'm doing here? I, you try not to hit the same place twice. Um, like, like, like paint, don't paint it up and down, up and down, you know, like, a, like you normally paint, but try to, yeah, I slowed it down there. See, um, and if there is a spot I need to go back over, I put paint on it, like, pretty heavy and just barely touch it against it, but try to get your paint as even as possible, too, because I did it in some places, just, I mean, you can tell the difference, I mean, it doesn't look bad, it looks good, I don't know, it don't matter, do whatever you want. Anyway, <laughs> after I get it all on there... And take your heat tool or your hair dryer or whatever you have uh, and um, dry it. And look at that. Watch it crack. Oh, my gosh. Look at that, y'all. Oh, my gosh. That is amazing. I love that. Anyway, so here it is, y'all. And it's going in my bathroom. Oh, and there's my dowel rod. Um, I forgot all about it and forgot to paint it and stain it and put it on plus i used dye rods in my sign but there we go and it's to hang um towels on and then just have a little shelf and it's going in my bathroom and i think it is absolutely beautiful you guys oh my gosh you would never believe so i tallied up everything and if if y'all built this which almost everything i only thing i bought was the two um hooks um, from Dollar Tree three years ago. I had $2 in it. But if someone had to buy everything, it'd be like $17 to make it, y'all. Seriously. That is amazing. Okay. So, right here, Miss Lisa Floyd, she sent me a box of those. You guys would be seeing that box opening. Of those little signs, she sent me a ton of them from um, the Dollar General. And if you bend your signs and stuff just a little bit, you can usually, like, loosen up those little things and pop them right off there. But I'm saving those for later. But I'm going to remove my sticker and sand it down real good. And then I'm going to take Aileen's Tacky Glue. I've been told I need to not talk so fast. And it's hard for me because I've just always talked fast. But get it as close to the edge as possible. And then um, I just put a little tiny bit of hot glue in the middle. And then I'm going to clamp them together. And then... um. I let them dry a little bit, and then I'm going to take that Beacon Fabric Tack Glue, and I'm going to put these two together. <clears throat> Excuse me, y'all. A lot of y'all seen me do this before, but I keep forgetting that new people do watch, and I'm just like, yeah, I have them so confused. I'm sorry, y'all. Anyway, and then I'm going to take that um, Beacon Fabric Tack Glue again and put it down my, my crack, and then I'm going to run um, some masking tape. And then across, and then over the center again, and across, across. And you guys, this keeps my signs together. I mean, and it looks better than putting the the sticks on the back. I just can't help it. It just does. It works. And anyway, I ended up having to do four and a half inches because I cut it crooked. But I did mark them four inches to cut because I'm going to make me a big old giant tag. I love tags. And I'm just going to score it here a few times and um, cut my little corners excuse me, corners off there, and, um, yeah, and then that tape, of course, and then I'm going to take my sander, and I'm going to round that off a bit more, and then I'm going to just sand the entire thing really good, yeah, and sand that, um, that wood putty off, and then I'm going to take my ruler here, excuse me, and I'm going to go two and a half inches in, because they're five inches wide, and I'm going to do that in both of them, and then use the center also, and I'm just going to, like, um, cut me some, uh, to make it look like, uh, boards hanging down, and then, um, after I do that, I did stick my little screwdriver in it and dig those holes out, I've, a lot of y'all have seen me do it a thousand times on here, and then I'm gonna take that paddle bit, and I'm gonna drill my, uh, hole out for my tag, and then sand it down real good, and in the back, see that, how that tape held that on there, well, 
I just took Beacon Fabric Tack Glue, and I normally like to do this anyway, but to stabilize that hole so it don't rip and tear. And, um, there, yeah. And then, that way, sorry about my big bucket head. It should keep. And then, um, I mean, I don't normally have problems, but I clean my sign off and stuff after I sanded it. And I'm going to take, um... Rust-Oleum Linen White Chalk Paint at first, and I'm going to distress my sign. And then, you guys, I went completely crazy until, in the end, it ended up being just um, painted like that with, um, what is that called? Uh, da, 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 da. It's like plaster, in a way. But, oh, one of those little um, macrame rings I you get from the Dollar Tree. I painted one in burnt umber, but I changed it to to white later and that's burnt umber that i'm distressing with and putting it down the and that i mean see and then there i totally painted it painted it painted it but i did take elephant and distress it and black and burnt umber and then there yeah so i'm going to take my glue stick here and the paper that i've been crafting on i'm just going to cover the back of this up and yeah because i don't want anybody to see that ugly mess but I take my burnishing tool uh, from Cricut and just rub it, rub it, rub it on there. And then um, I cut off the excess. Miss Christine Carter sent me that knife. See, I'm going to cut out that hole there. And then I cut that out on my Cricut. It's a cow. It's so cute. This did not work as planned. <laughs> the second um, item, oh, and I did go down the cracks with it, was caulk. I chose it. I don't know why because I had no clue what I was going to do. And this is, um, I don't know, he turned out cute, but I tried to do it, like, easy to, so the black would be exposed, so I would know where to go in later, because I'm doing the reverse, you know, stencil, and, and I could find the black, and I could pick it up. It did not work that way, and my hand was cramping. I was like, please, stuff, just come out, but I spread it out with that little, uh, spatula thing from the Dollar Tree. Now, look, that was sped up as fast as my editing software will go you guys that took me forever and it was so heavy trying to get that vinyl up out from underneath i tore up two parts of my little cow um just trying to find the vinyl one was over on his hip and the other one was somewhere else but it would have been pretty good had it not been for that but i let it dry overnight and i'm gonna sand it really really well and make sure you sand if you do this like the like see the edges like inside the inside parts that are weeded out that looks like a hippopotamus right there anyway and i paint the entire thing with rich black by folk art chocolate and then i'm gonna paint all the parts that were weeded out why it looks like some kind of demon donkey or something crazy there but anyway after we get it all painted i do like um yeah see i'm i painted his little eyes so yeah, there we go, the black and the white, and then I painted the straw that color, and I take that gray macrame cord from the Dollar Tree and make me a hanger, and then I'm going to take that ribbon I got from Walmart and just do the awareness bow, and look how cute. <laughs> oh, and I painted in his nostrils and mouth. Can you believe that's caulk, you guys? Oh, my gosh. I'm telling you why. I can't wait to see what everybody makes. I'm telling you. I'm so excited. Okay, y'all. This one was completely messed up. I had my camera on. When I thought it was off and off when I thought it was on. But anyway, I digress. So, I'm going to take this um, jute and one of those little tiny bamboo rings from Dollar Tree. It comes in a two-pack, a bigger one, small one. And I'm going to double wrap it like I did that wreath for them the other night. I'm telling y'all, it's so much faster doing it this way. And then I leave a big piece. Now, here's where everything goes wrong. So, I got that... Um, that mason jar from amazon a couple years ago i got a pack of them and then that is calendar from uh 2023 and i put mod podge on it and ironed it on right i know and then i'm gonna sand off the edges you guys the crazy things i do when the camera and then i take that jute from the walmart because jute was another one of our challenge items and i'm gonna wrap it around the entire bottom but i attach my ring to the back of my sign see and i put it i glued it on with that string i left over and then i glued that jute around it because i want it to be on there good and tight because i'm making me a towel holder for my kitchen 
But anyway, and here I'm just playing with tape, I, and I left that in, not on purpose, but just to tell y'all what I was doing. And then I'm going to wrap Jew all the way up to where the lid would be. And then I burn off all the fur. I'm sorry, y'all, about this. Totally sorry. But I take that ribbon that is left over and um, from where I was going to make that bow on my little cow picture, and I wrap it around to be like the lid, and I put some lamb's ear and that ribbon I got, <laughs> sorry, at Walmart two years ago, you guys, that chicken. And I think this is cute as can be, y'all. But um, I am so sorry about this and I am so, so sorry. But I love y'all so, so very much. And I hope y'all enjoyed the video. I know it's short. I know I really jacked up that last one, but you know how I am. But um, I should be back if, if the Lord doesn't come back or, you know, I don't fall ill i should be back on sunday um for the decoupage party collaboration i'm the host i think i host uh, guest host not the host guest host anyway it's craft away with me it's hers i don't know who else i'm sorry but anyway i hope y'all like that but anyway so um y'all join me then and um yeah, I'm going to be doing a giveaway. Um, I, I don't know if it's next video or video after next, but it's going to be the 2023 and 2024 set calendars. So, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I love you all so, so very much. I'm sorry this was so short. I was just pressed for time because, you know, I'm just I'm busy. And um, and I just did a video this week. And, um, and then I'll be about again friday so i don't know if i'll be able to make it monday of course but i'll get one out as soon as i can after that but i love y'all and this is the perky prize opening y'all have a blessed week okay, bye y'all this this next this one i have here is from i'm gonna butcher your name sorry i just i butcher names but um Kristen is it is it bodiker 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 um i don't know i'll try it uh, I'll ask someone or Google and see if I can figure it out. Got something in my eye. But anyway, look at this. How cute. I mean, something I love for home. These are just, uh. But anyway, I want to show you this first. So, she, she made, sorry, I interrupted. Anyway, she um made this little, like, fabric thing. I, I don't know if y'all will be able to see it. My husband keeps thinking I'm talking to him. But anyway, for, um, you, you made it for, yeah, your sister and brother-in-law. And the perfect batch. But it looks like it's fabric. And then the little, look, I don't know. Can y'all see it? See it? See? Oh, look at that. And look at the little Christmas tree. Oh, <gasps> isn't that sweet? That is adorable. That's so nice that you made it for your sister. I wish I had a sister. I don't I got two rotten brothers. But anyway, I digress. So, anyway, what she sent. This is gorgeous. And I should have pulled this out. I know uh, I'm saying gorgeous. But to me, I just love the, the red and white. Look at that. That tissue paper. Look how pretty that is. You know how pretty that would be behind so many backgrounds. Even if it's something like cutesy. It's anything. And this one, this one, I love too. Look at this. Look how pretty that is. Tissue paper. I don't know. I never hardly ever find pretty tissue paper. I like that. That's very pretty. I just think about all the things. I mean, and it's probably going to be not till next year, of course. But these are very, I love this. <clears throat> and this purple i would never dream but it's double-sided these these bags are heavy duty bags i mean look at the strings on them but look at this picture <gasps> look oh my goodness look at that i know i didn't look in the crack little snowflakes but anyway yeah there's one and then this one's very pretty i hate to cut them up they're so nice <laughs> look at that look at this look at that i know right What's in the crack of the crack of it? Oh, look how pretty. It's so pretty. Look at that. I, I know. I love it. I love it. That would have been pretty behind that one ornament I did that had the, had the um, you know. But, anyway. So, these are so pretty, too. I love these. These poinsettia napkins. Look. I know. They're so pretty. It says season greetings. I didn't notice this. Noel, Joy, it's got little words on it. Look. I know. Right? 
And then these, these are these are so pretty. I just, I love them. I just love them. I love napkins, you guys. I just love them. Look. It's got the little pine cones and look at that. Isn't that cute? Oh, that's not pointed. Yes, it is. I, is it? I think so. No, I don't. Yes, these all were. It was this flower here throwing me off. Anyway, I've got to go on. This one is too cute and so like vintage and, and I love that. I love that kind of retro old Tommy kind of look. Yeah, like from 50s and 60s and stuff. I'm saying old Tommy and you, you know, some of y'all's going, I'm going to punch you in your face. <laughs> I was born in 74, so that was my parents, you know. My my daddy was born in 50, my mom was born in 53, so yes. And look, <laughs> look at his pink cheeks. <laughs> He's so funny. He's, I don't know, sorry. Anyway, and this, oh my gosh, Lavender Field. Look, you guys, Lavender Fields. Oh my goodness, I love this. Love, love, love. I'm going to open it. Look. Look. That, that was, this reminds me of, you have something here, something like, um, Eastery, um, about, um, he is risen, something like that, don't you think? Because of the, yeah, anyway, that's what I was thinking. But, you know, I don't know. I don't know. What do you all think? And then, um, this one's so cute. It's just, it's just cute. That, there's no other words. Look. <laughs> Look how cute that is. I love that. It, oh, sorry. Yeah. I hope you guys enjoy looking at these as much as I love them. Anyway, look, that one's very pretty. Very well made. Very, very pretty. And then this one. Look. Oh, you guys. It's just so funny. I bought these years ago, or two years ago. And I used them. I made a vase and a riser that matched and it sat on. And uh, y'all tickle me because I'm telling you, I think every... Um, set of napkins I've ever received from any of all has had these in them. And it's like, I can't even part with them. I just keep piling them, you know, keep piling them up. <laughs> and I have a drawer full of the, of these and the long ones, but I, I love it. I know, I don't know. I'm goofy. This goes to show we got the same taste, right? Well, of course, that's why we're together. But anyway, I love this too, but look at this. I love this down here. That's very pretty. Look at and then on the back, look at that little flower. But this, this trim too to go with anything. And this is cute. Um, I've never actually seen napkin with just leaves like that. Have y'all? That would be cute on a palette, and and Mod Podge it on there. And then like I don't know, have something like I know it's here, but it's not coming out. And then these, I love these. Oh. Look! Oh my goodness! <gasps> Look at them. Aww. Bop, 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 bop. Anyway, you guys. So, thank you so, so very much, Chris, Christian. Kristen, I just, uh, I gotta get these in a baggie. I haven't got these in a baggie yet. And I, I do appreciate it. I truly, truly, I truly do appreciate it. There's so many beautiful things. And then that bag, I don't want to cut that bag. And then, this is just too much. I just love that. Good job. Yeah, you guys are awesome. Yeah.